from Los Angeles, California, this is Burncast and I'm the bomb. All right, so hey, what's your name? I'm Stephanie. Stephanie, how long have you been going to Burning Man? It's my uh, seventh year. Seventh year, and how have things changed in seven years? Uh, why I come change has changed. Um, I think I came to, I don't know, party and explore and see what this place was all about, and now I come back because, I don't know, people are amazing here. They're beautiful, everyone's beautiful, because, you know, they're open and they're not thinking about work and stress, and they can be themselves completely. So people are just beautiful in that space. Have you gone consecutively or? Consecutively. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Um, do you have any advice for the virgin burner, first timers? Uh, talk to people Talk to people that have come for a long time and get good tips from them. Okay. Just good tips on like, you know, like how to conserve your energy for the week and not just go crazy and be totally dead by Saturday and like good food and snacks to have. Yeah, get, get advice, and I don't know, yeah, maybe if you can hook up with a camp, a cool camp that can kind of support you in your first burn, because, yeah. I don't know, people that have been coming for a long time love the virgin energy, too, so yeah. there's a good exchange there. Yeah, so. and any advice to the va jaded veteran burner? <laughs> uh, let go of your expectations, <laughs> and know that Burning Man is constantly going to change, and your experience is constantly going to change, and you kind of get what you need here and not necessarily what you want here so wow let go of your expectations yeah and ride the wave and um had you heard that there was going to be the ability to 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 make cell phone calls at burning man i did hear that and i was super bummed really yeah i saw a guy on a cell phone on the way in here and i was just i was super bummed yeah apparently the at&t came over and put a tower up from what i heard is that so what you heard i was well, i was volunteering in play info this week and Somebody said that they had actually worked, they were camped near where they put a tower up. So I was bummed, but I actually haven't seen any other cell phones this week. So I appreciate that if people are using them, that they're being discreet about it. Yeah. So okay, that brings me to my real question is, um, does technology enhance imagination or detract? It can do both. Yeah, it, it depends on how you use it, I guess. I think part of the reason I come out here is to disconnect from the world, and I don't want to check my email, and I don't want to call call but one of my campmates also you know has like a seven-year-old daughter mm. and got to Skype halfway through the week when he was really like considering leaving because he wanted, he missed his wife and kids so bad and so that was that gave him the opportunity to, to actually like be able to miss them but kind of contain with them and it stay yeah here. so so I like that that's a possibility but yeah I don't know I, I like being able to disconnect from technology Okay. And tell me a little bit about your camp and what, or, or your little um, thing you're doing this year. Sure. Um, this is my first year with um, Hippocampus, actually. Oh, okay. You're over by 3 o'clock. Yeah, exactly. yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. And um, it's been really amazing, actually. The community there is super... Drink. You have a drinking game. Anytime somebody word really? says the word community, we all have to drink, oh, even awesome. the audience. Nice. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, well, well, let's see. We have um, what we offer to the community is a drink. cafe. Uh -huh. Sorry. I'm going to say that like seven okay. more times. Um, we have a cafe that runs Wednesday to Saturday from like 10 to 12, and we serve coffee, and we it's like a French cafe, so we all Sweet. dress up in French outfits and um, serve coffee and tea and pastries or some. We did pancakes that day, so, um, so that's the main thing we offer. We have a pretty decent sound system, and... Um, we do we do um, just camp dinners every night from Tuesday to Friday night. So, which is just a nice like space for all of us to be together at least one part of the day and kind of connect with each other and check in. Um, yeah, those are the main things. Yeah, I've never been been part of a camp that. I mean, I've, the camp that I've been camping with the previous six years has been amazing, and we do camp dinners, but it hasn't felt so like. Maybe it's, I, I don't really know, understand what the difference is, but it's just, this camp is just like really, really amazing people and just super loving and supporting and I don't know, just, I just connect well with almost everybody in the camp, so it's just been really lovely this year. And tell me about your tea time thingy, that project? The tea time, it was funny because I didn't, I, my schedule ended up being packed full this week with all the things that I'd planned, which I've never had a burn like this before. Mm -hmm. Usually I, I schedule nothing mm -hmm. and I, and I prefer it that way, but. It's just been a different year, but um, 
So my friend Nigel and I were going to have a project called Be Heard Now, and he's he's actually followed through with it. But we we um, we bought a voice recorder before we came and checked and tested it out and stuff. And we brought all the things to set up like an impromptu tea service somewhere on the playa. <laughs> and um, it was like a little bamboo structure with some um, like cloth. And then we bought a bunch of tea and cookies and things like that. And we were just going to set up tea and then just do interviews. And we just we you know we we had uh, gotten a, like made a list of all sorts of questions we wanted to ask people. For example, well, I can't even remember. I have to look at the yeah, list. But okay. I mean, just like just a lot of things, just about Burning Man, like what their what your what people's experience has been, um, challenges, mm. um, amazing things that they've seen, like things that surprised them, um, things that they expected and actually came through for them, like just I don't know, just different aspects of what Burning Man is to people and what people get out of it. But um, I think we were even going to branch out of. Burning Man too, but oh, that'll be fun. Of, yeah, it's yeah. Kind of gonna be a, just, I don't know. Yeah, maybe just a little bit of background. It's it's so funny because I when I come here sometimes I connect with people and then afterwards I realize that I I actually don't know what they do for a living yeah, or yeah. like what they look like in the real world or what the, like what their regular clothes look like. So it's really really interesting to connect to people on that level. But um, yeah, so that was that's pretty, basically the gist of the project. There's a video I saw a couple years ago called "Do You Know the Truth of Who You Are?" and he ran around Burning Man asking people that. Really? It's a video. You should. Um, oh, that's awesome. If you shoot me an email or just yeah. look for, or do a search on YouTube. Cool. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Yeah, I'll check that out. And it's just fun to see what people say. Yeah. Yeah. I, bet. So I, can't, I can't even imagine the variety of answers. <laughs> And I love the ones where people just go, no, I have no idea. It's <laughs> fair, too. Yeah. Well, um, oh, my, my camera works a little uneven, but anyway. Anything you want to add as we wrap this up? Anything that came to mind? Yeah, uh, I don't know, actually. It's been a, a lovely week. Did you work Challenges. with the theme at all? Um, I didn't, actually, at all. I almost never work with a theme. Almost never connect to it actually, but um, yeah, this this year for me has been about service actually. I feel like I'm kind of getting like gotten so much out of it that I kind of want to like move into a different role here. Yeah. Sort of start supporting the community. Drink, yes. So, so I volunteered for Playa Info this year a couple times because I'm actually in library science school. Oh, yeah. awesome! Did you go to the library? I, I okay. Party in I did actually. Okay, yeah. so my friend Catherine the Great, who's going by Ranger Handle Librarian, she should be there. Yeah. Oh, you're kidding. That's yeah, that's a fun one. I love. It's, it's funny because like five different people sent me sent me the announcement for the for the cocktail party. I was just like, amazing. You know, a bunch of librarians having a cocktail party at Burning Man. Like, that's <laughs> yeah. awesome. It's beautiful that that, that exists. Yeah. So yeah, it just sense. Yeah, it's been a, been a an up and down week, but overall great and lovely. Great. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thank you. And we're gonna cut right here, but I'm also.